G'day guys, Holy Critic here, and I hope you're feeling extra hospitable today because there's a couple of out of town folks who want to rock up at your doorstep uninvited. They claim to be family, so surely you couldn't turn them away, right? Well, that's the main premise of Saturday's psycho thriller Distant Cousins. It's a situation we've all had to endure at some point in our lives. Some distant relative who's practically a stranger comes knocking out of the blue. Most of the time, it's just an innocuous encounter. But this movie takes that concept to a whole new level. David Keith and Marge Helgenberger play a pair of sleazy hillbilly trailer trash. And they go by the names Harry and Connie, but it's very hard to believe a single word out of their filthy mouths. I sound pretty harsh in my critique here, but you'll understand why in a minute. So, Harry claims to be passing through the neighbourhood when he calls on his long-lost cousin Richard, played by William Catt. He hasn't seen him for the best part of 30-odd years, but not wanting to appear rude, Richard accepts the offer to catch up. Ah, yes. Social etiquette. The cause of so much suffering in our world. I'll tell you one thing I learned in life. Never, ever be guilt-tripped into helping out a freeloader. But, of course, Richard lives to regret his decision when these vagabonds start to encroach in his private life. It's obvious they have an ulterior motive, but what keeps you watching is trying to figure out just what exactly that is. The movie is not ambiguous about their violent tendencies, and anybody who dares question them conveniently winds up dead. Richard's wife Catherine is the first to suspect foul play. Harry and Connie's southern charm quickly wears thin on her as she slowly uncovers their mysterious activities. The tension ramps up in the final half hour when the full extent of their disturbing plan reveals itself. By the end, the only hope of survival they've got is their mischievous son Alex, who spent the best part of the movie making an utter nuisance of himself. I couldn't help but feel the subtle Home Alone vibes, although I'd argue that Macaulay Culkin is a better actor overall. Personal preference, of course. Anyway, Distant Cousins is nothing special, but it does present an entertaining, albeit implausible, worst-case scenario. Where do you draw the line when it comes to family? This movie confirms, at least in my mind, what I've known all along, and that being... If you have an open-door policy, you'll be treated like a doormat for every dog and his aunt. Distant Cousins has earned a final rating of two and a half halos out of five. The acting was pretty cringy throughout, and it generally looked past its use-by date, but I simply can't deny my fondness for all that 90s cheese. Even if it is a bit mouldy. Thanks for watching my 63rd episode of Quick Reviews, and if you want to help me continue to stay strong, please consider becoming a member on Patreon. Also, make sure you check out my latest rant on the new Breaking Bad movie, El Camino. If you're a big fan of the TV series, you'll understand why I'm so hyped. Enjoy your weekend of movies, and this is Holy Critic, signing out.